there was a guy that came on my show that's the first openly gay crib. Like, and and you seen that? I and seen he been it. he been going around. Brandon posted him. Everybody posted. I Will, what's his name? Tony Will Rich. Tony Will Rich. Tony Will Rich. And and you know no, is that the young man they say OG Percy sleeping with? Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see. Me. Yes, I just played the but game. But your show my is centered around a lot of stuff Man. happening. So people pulling up all the time. He done pulled up on there. Mm -hmm. Everybody done pulled up on your show. That Latham guy, what's his name? Uh, Van Latham, Latham yeah, from TMZ. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, what, White 100 yeah, been we, pulling we just, up lately. We just had Crip Mac over there. Crip Mac was over five, there. Yeah, five, five yeah, yeah, five, yeah, five, yeah, five yeah. I was there. I was, I knew this, I knew, you know, I, I talked to the nigga when he was locked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't really talked to 5-5 five, five Crip since he been home. But yeah. I, I rock with the fact of he was helping the homeless and all that. Yeah. How is this nigga doing now versus when he left? Is his buzz still there or is it done disseminated or how is it? How was it? When you when you pulled him up, did a whole bunch of people yeah. pop up? Yeah, well, yeah. The nigga, the nigga, when he came home, I, I got him early when he first you know, he okay. came home. So I knew nigga was kind of buzzing and shit like that. But I mean, you can't look away from a car accident. You know what I mean? That nigga's a car wreck. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Yeah. His, his lingo and shit. Yeah. And, but he a cool dude. Though. I'm gonna say this behind the scene, talking to him before the show. Nah, he was a cool dude, bro. That's he was real, yeah, he was a cool dude. Nigga had I'm not gonna lie to. He had an old English we were early course, in the morning, nigga. Course. Early and it was like nigga eleven o'clock in the morning. Nigga was sitting there with an old English, really. And when you see a nigga sitting there with an old English at that early in the morning, you know a nigga stressed the fuck out. Yeah, you know yeah. a nigga mind. He trying bad. to get it popping. He trying yeah. to get everything. Your going. mind is bad if you sitting there with an old English at four o'clock, at, at okay, eleven o'clock in the morning. Okay, for people like me, what is an old? English? That's one of them old gold cans. Yeah, one of them gold and red cans. Uh, one of them, you know, I mean some gold and red cans of wood. Beer, beer, beer. Oh, but it's malt liquor. Yeah, it. it's when, when you can't afford the slits malt liquor yeah. bull back in the day. You get that one. Yeah, niggas used to drink that Saint Eyes. Remember different kind yeah, of the, the old Eyes. English, like yeah, really a what, West Coast beer. Everybody drink it everywhere, but you see them West Coast niggas with that old Got English it. most of the time. But uh. Dallas niggas drink that Bud Ice and them 211 still reserved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dallas niggas wake up early tomorrow with a 211. But uh, nah, I mean, yeah, Crip I'm Mac was cool, bro. Him, Wack man. 100 was, Wack 100 was cool. He went back and dissed me the next day on Clubhouse. What? But look, let me tell you something about Wack. Wack, Wack a real nigga though. Because Wack 100 told me that he was going to go back and diss me. Wack 100 told me to go at him during the show. He's texting my phone while we on the show saying, nigga, go harder. Like you fire me up, <laughs> like yeah, nigga, turn this bitch up. You yeah. gotta turn this whole up. Man, I'm not wasting Wack, my time. Wack wanna argue, he wanna fight, and mainly he wanna debate. Wack wanna debate, so we start talking about that OG Bobby Billions and Mo Three shit and Trap Boy How shit. How was that? Yeah, you know I man, oh, you know him. He stood up for OG Bobby. Oh, anything I say, he going with the opposite. And I was like, nah, I don't think OG Bobby Billions should have, you know, you know, worked with the mother niggas. You know what I mean? Uh, after the outside record, he was, oh fuck that, I got a check for Bobby Billions, nigga. This, 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 this. Nah, right, nigga, he lied. He said he said he cut Bobby Billions that goddamn check. <laughs> you owe Bobby Billions some money, Wack. <laughs> so I mean, you know, with that California culture, mm -hmm. is it is that California culture as you look at it from this perspective? You know, there's a guy that came on my show that's the first openly gay crib, like, and and you seen that? I and seen he been it. he been going around. I Vlad them posted him. Everybody posted. I Will, what's it. his name? Tony Will Rich. Tony Will. Rich. Tony Will Rich. And, and you know, that's he, no, is that the young man they say OG Percy sleeping with? Well, OG uh -huh. Percy took a picture with him. Yeah, I, I yeah, never yeah, heard yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, he took a picture with him. I don't know if he's sleeping with him. Yeah, I, I never heard, heard that, that. You heard that? Oh, I'm going to say this. I didn't know who the dude was until somebody was like, hey, Sco, did you hear about this young dude that OG Percy sleeping with? He openly gay Fort Worth Crip. And I, I had never knew the dude. I was who like, that's said what, that, So that's man. how, the, you, you know me, when you go look at my inbox, oh, I got the world in that bitch dropping shit in there. I mean, they put Damn. it on. So I'm like, what, well, who when is people, this dude? When people telling you all that stuff, because like for me personally, I'm like, okay, where's the proof? Show me the picture. Yeah, see, that's what something I thought. Something like that. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's something else they know. I don't. I have no, no he clue. just took a picture with him. So I he just yeah, took a picture with him. Okay, so they're they not sleeping together. No, they, they're not, not hitting Matter of fact, if I remember correctly, he say, uh, he say, Bob, Bob report tricked him into taking that picture with him. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Who said that? Percy said Percy that. Percy see, said. Now, see now, I don't like that kind of shit. See that that made me think they fucking. See, <laughs> the, 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 the right. I don't like that. Don't, don't come out and say, oh, somebody made me do it. Nah, nigga, this ain't made a cool dude, bro. Right here, but he a black dude. He doing his thing. But even, be, but even before that picture, because he came on this show before yeah. that picture, and he said that um, he had said in an interview that it was okay for him to be a crip. Who said that? OG Percy. OG, OG Percy, Percy yeah. said it was okay for. Um, Tony Will Rich, who is an openly gay rapper, to be a crap. That's what Tony Will Rich said. That's yeah, what Tony Rich. That was yeah. his really one of his one of his certifications. They fucking. 
Huh? They fucking. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Look, I want to say if they was in, in the pen, we, we, how would that work in jail? In the, in the pen, it wouldn't work like that, would it? In the pen, you went yeah. to an openly gay nigga. Yeah, you could be a crip. Of course not. You start fucking on that nigga behind closed doors, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what I thought, like, bro. They. Come on, dog. Stop it, fam. I don't want nothing else about this shit. It's disgusting, bro. He got songs and stuff. It, 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 it I haven't heard like of him yet. Seems like he's growing. Okay. And, and look, I want to say salute to him, fam. I mean, I might, I might throw him on uh, on one of my female shows one day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Cause I, I, I don't have his number. I can get you in touch with Bob Supreme. Mm -hmm. Bob got his number. Bob is his manager. Mm. Bob report. That's a damn shame, man. That's a goddamn shame. This game in this industry is disgusting, bro. And the reason I'm saying that is, bro, because I open, I mean, this is what I'm saying, bro. It ain't about no music and that no more, bro. It's about a fucking circus. Uh, you know what I mean? And a, ain't uh, not about talent. It ain't about it's... talent no more, man. It's about people will manage anything. Y'all see the two island boys, the two little... Hey, kids, kid, the, man. The I got boy, mad as hell, bro. They, they, they do only Wait, fans put, porn. Every time I turn it, every time I see it, I take it off. And that's that right there shows hey, bro, you, You know how you say it, burn nigga burnt you up when you see something you wear. Yo, burnt you up, man. Burnt you up, my nigga. What the hell just happened? Yeah. I it's like fan. everybody's trying to upstage the next person. Yep. Like, what else can go what wrong? What a nigga will do for clout? That nigga, they know they were losing their buzz yep. when they did that ignorant stuff, violate. That tell you where they'll go. They'll take it anywhere. Anywhere, there is bro. no code to what no these code. people are doing, bro. But that, you know, I think that's for the whole game. I think everybody going in that direction. If you notice, when I see niggas do interviews now, niggas don't be they self no more, bro. Never niggas be on there just doing the wild. Especially them niggas say cheese niggas over there. Ooh. That, 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 that J-Main nigga yeah. over there. That nigga over there just putting on a show every day just saying the weirdest shit, you know what I mean? Just I, I'm like, bro, this is this the new trend. Do an interview and just say the wildest, dumbest shit you can say and hope people ask you to do more interviews. That's the hustle. Is it everybody or is it just the young people? Uh, nah, it, you, that's the fucked up. It's a lot of old niggas that's involved. A lot of, hey, look online. It's a lot of old bitches right now butt naked online. Have y'all noticed this? A lot, it's a lot of older women that don't give a damn no more. Only fans, I mean, women 50, 60 years old. Oh, yeah, they don't man, give a shit no more. On, no, bro, the internet is taking over. I ain't over. on there like but that. I'm going to say this, though. This is one thing I will say. Be who you want to be. It don't matter how old you are, no matter what you got going on, be who you want to be. But that internet, bro, everybody wants some of it. Everybody wants the fame and the clout. It don't matter how old you are no more, man. Nobody cares, man. Look at Charleston White now. You could say he one of the most watched niggas in the DFW, right? He get more love than these rap niggas. Or more, more attention. He, come on, fam. You know what I mean? So, it ain't about age or none of that shit no more. It's about clout, attention, fame, views. And like I said, it's women out here, man, in their 50s and 60s. Busting so, But over. hold on. But with all this clout mm -hmm. and fame and attention, does all of this that you see mm -hmm. happening... Does any of this equate to money for some of these people? Probably so. Probably not the kind of money that um, a younger, you know what I mean, female would probably get, but it's attention, it's money. Remember this, Miss Jamaica, it ain't even about money no more. It's about attention and clout and fame. This niggas out here broke right now, but they known online. People are recognizing their face. can't pay your bills. Can't pay your bills. Niggas see your face, know who you are, but you ain't got a dime to your name. And, pe and people that's cool with that. Niggas are cool. With but you may tell you something, because that's what life is about. You know, people want money. Why? So you can look a certain way and feel a certain way and people know you and like you, right? Niggas skipping over that. Fuck the money. Let's go straight to the uh, knowing you. That's all they want. Just know me. When you see me, you know what I mean? I don't, I, I'm going to tell you this. I don't even really want to be known like that outside this goddamn internet shit. I like, I like oh, that's why I do my shit a live stream. I stay in the crib with mine. I don't even want to talk to niggas in person that much. I don't even want to be around people that much, bro. So many motherfuckers fake, bro. So much shit out here is, you know what I mean? It's twisted and it's business. People say, man, why don't you do a spot and start interviewing people in person? Nigga, fuck that. That's what, that's, you you saying the same thing that Vlad does. Mm -hmm. He never in the room. Yeah, he never people. in the room. But me, you me tell you something about me. I smoke too much gas, bro. I smoke too much weed. You feel me? I'm, I'm one of the biggest smokers on YouTube. So wherever you put me at, I gotta be. I gotta be able to smoke my weed wherever I'm doing my interviews. If I can't smoke my weed, the show is over. Buy, your own, the channel. buy your own building. You gotta be right. I gotta buy my own building. Yeah, but you can't. I've been kicked out of building before. I've been kicked out of building before. Don't get it fucked up. You know what I yeah. mean? I've been kicked out <laughs> because of because of how much you smoke. Yeah, because of big weed smoke. Me and some of my partners had a little building back in the day. Uh, one of my partners was on MTV too. He was on the Rob and Big show. Yeah, the big black dude, yeah, the white yeah, with yeah, the skateboard. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, we. We had, we had a studio, man, but uh, yeah, the laws and kicking it in and shit like that, taking everybody to jail and shit. We in that bitch big blowing, big smoking, Everything. drinking that bitch serve. But yeah, niggas running in out that motherfucker all night. So anywhere I go, it starts to look like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.